Hello my dear friends, this is Karim from Merak Auto Francis. Should I let the employee from the perfume store show me another perfume that I'm not trying to buy or something new? And the answer is, I'll give it to you after you subscribe to the channel and give me a like and share this video so you can learn more about fragrances well, let's go back to the question now okay let's put this scenario i see on youtube and tiktok a fragrance that is trending right now and i have on mind what i want because i just saw it on youtube and i walk into a perfume store and the employee offer me a sample and what i grab it don't grab it what you usually do let me know in the comments below, please. I would like, to and this is me. Let's say I go to a perfume store and I really want to smell certain fragrance, but they don't have so a sample. Say, I can recommend you a fragrance that is similar to it or have some notes similar to that one that you're looking for. So you have an idea at least how to smell like. Should I accept it? Yes or no? Yes, of course, yes. I will accept it to see you know, other fragrances that I probably didn't see on YouTube, but probably I would like, and it will smell good, and I probably purchased just that one. But if I smell the fragrances and I don't like any, of course, I will say thank you to the employee, and I'm just gonna leave and go and find the fragrance that I want to smell. And, well, most of the cases, well, that's what happened to me actually personally, that most of the time the fragrances that I see on TikTok trending or in YouTube trending and they talk so many good things about it and I go and smell it, it smell like really bad or it smell like nothing. So that's why I never recommend to anybody to just go and purchase a fragrance. Like because I say it smells good, you're not supposed to go and just go like this one, I'll take it. But you can smell it. I don't care, that's fine. Um, Mirac Control Francis say that it's pretty good. I'll take it. I go to the house, open it, and you're like, oh, this is not me. And maybe it's not because the fragrances smell bad. It's just, it's not your personality. So that's really extremely important that you can smell your fragrance before you purchase it. If you don't give the opportunity to the seller to show you another fragrance, it's like you're a square. You will never gonna learn anything. And remember the seller, if it's a good seller, it will show you stuff that you like. Why? Because they will ask you in the beginning, what do you prefer? If you prefer sweet fragrances, you prefer fresh fragrances, if you prefer woody fragrances. So those questions are find out what do you like? Okay, so if you don't know, before you walk into the perfume store, start thinking about the fragrance that you have. If you have fresh fragrances, if you have sweet fragrances, if you have woody fragrances, musky fragrances. So you already know an answer. But if you truly never wear a cologne and you truly don't know what you like, just let the seller find out what do you like. So the seller can recommend you the best fragrance for you. Just imagine that you walk into the perfume store and I am the seller and I'm trying to show you this fragrance and you don't see it, this fragrance often on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram like trending but I'm the seller and I want to really show you this fragrance because I owe this fragrance and it smells amazing. It's so good, it's smooth, it's just sweet, really elegant, awesome fragrance, long lasting too. And women love this fragrance a lot. But you walk into the store, I give you a sample, I show you, and I say to you, oh, let me show you this fragrance, it smells amazing. And I really want you to smell it. But you don't let me because you're like, oh no, I just want to smell the one that Jeremy Fragrance uh, recommend. 
and probably you go and smell it and you go like uh i really don't like it and probably if you let me show you this one you will love this one just because jeremy fragrance didn't say or talk about this one or don't owe this one it doesn't mean that this fragrance is bad right if i want you to smell all this collection right here from perry alice that you don't see often these fragrances but these fragrances smell so good each one of these ones have their own theme so good and you just turn me off like oh no i don't want to smell anything or i don't like prairie alleys because you smell what your father used to wear i mean that doesn't have anything to do with this line right here so what if i want you to smell this and just because you didn't see it on tiktok that doesn't mean this smell bad because it smells so really delicious or what if i want you to smell this one huh the chromasaro limited edition and you don't let me show it to you so how come you're gonna know that this smells so awesome really good but you don't know and you're just like uh, oh no i'm just looking for Savage. when this one smells even way better what if i want you to smell more by territory this fragrance is amazing too really long lasting so masculine sweet fragrance is awesome but because you don't know territory doesn't mean that the, the fragrance is bad and you don't let me show it to you because Oh no, I don't know that designer. So what? It doesn't mean that the fragrance is bad because you don't know the designer. You will not know anything about Savage if you never smell it before or nobody talk about it. So my recommendation number one, when you go and buy a new cologne for you, is that walk into a perfume store with an open mind. That way you can learn more about colognes and you can try new fragrances, which it's really exciting for me to walk into a perfume store and the seller show me something new that probably never smelled before or probably I did smell before, but it doesn't matter to be honest. I really want to smell everything because out of everything, I'll find something that I like and that probably I never hear about it and that'd be cool that not much people is talking about the fragrance because that means that I'll be unique. When I put it on, it will be just a few people that knows about the fragrance. You know, never buy anything without smelling either. If you didn't smell it, you don't know how to smell like it, don't buy it, okay? Just don't buy it. They don't have a sample, just find another fragrance that you actually can smell. If you really want to smell the fragrance that you're looking for, go and find a place that they can show you that specific fragrance okay but don't be disrespectful with the sellers because they're just doing their job they're just trying to show you something new something different something that is not trending yet but they think they will and you should smell it okay it's just like me right now i'm so excited to tell you and talk about colognes my new discoveries what I'm smelling that is new so I can bring it to you and tell you what I think about those fragrances but imagine if I don't do that imagine if I keep repeating what the big youtubers are talking about all the time you will never find new fragrances for you to smell when if I keep repeating myself oh yeah this fragrance is awesome this fragrance is so good savage is that the good good awesome thing repeating all over and over and over again or aqua dg is awesome blah 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 like the other youtubers you can hear it hear it and you can see youtubers and another youtuber and they will repeat repeat themselves but they don't actually tell you the truth about the fragrances okay because they just want to gain popularity because those fragrances are so popular that everybody's searching for those specifically so they get more views but that's not my point on this channel 
and on the sellers out there too on the perfume stores is not the point it's not the point that you always come and buy savage all the time they want you to learn about other fragrances that are really good that out there for you are great choices better than the ones that you think that you have in your mind because this youtuber told you to and you just pass it because you're so close-minded that you don't want to smell anything else i will tell you what i do usually i walk into the perfume store and i tell them show me what is new and when i say new i'm not just asking show me a release for 2022 because if i just want it i just walk into macy's and i smell them you know because they have the most popular fragrances they have what everybody's wearing pretty much but i like to walk into kiosk that some perfumes i want to go to a small perfume stores big perfume stores because they have different stuff they have discontinued stuff they have uh, new skin for different countries for the middle east for germany for spain for everywhere which is great so i have more opportunity to smell more fragrances that i never heard about those fragrances and that's the coolest part of this world because there are so many fragrances out there that they're good they're bad they're like in the middle and you can say that big name brands are always good which is no true because i prove it in this channel that is no true no all the big name as brands are good and no all the small brands are bad either if this so, video is helpful for you to open your mind and see this world in a different way well please subscribe to my channel give me a like and share so we can, can grow it and that way you can know if you will probably like it or you probably won't but definitely because i say a fragrance is really good doesn't mean you're gonna go and blind buying it okay just if you know the fragrance you had it before you smell it before then yes you can blind buy it but if you never smell the fragrance in your entire life please don't 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 buy it until you smell it okay you have to make sure that you like the fragrance that it goes with your personality always smell the fragrance before you buy it never believe a tiktoker or youtuber just because it's a youtuber and it's big and three let the perfume employees show you fragrances that they think that you might like you don't lose anything to try them okay you can say i don't like it but you can say i like it and you and they buy it but what if you say eh, no thank you and probably that's the fragrance for you you don't lose anything just try it out try everything okay that's my best recommendation i can give it to you just try everything if you don't like it it's okay too just say oh thank you so much for showing to me right. and walk away i mean it's not a big deal okay so never go in a rush in a perfume store just go take your time smell it be happy about it you know because you're sharing something it's like uh you coming to me my channel and i'm showing you my collection and i want to show you all the smells that i do have if you have another question that is bothering you about what you do when you walk into a perfume store just please let me know below in the comments and i would like to hear what you usually do if you let the seller show you something else or if you or those close-minded persons that they just go there for a certain fragrance and they just like ignore the rest of the fragrances there me i'm like a little kid walking into a candy store and i see all those colognes and i really want to smell them all i go like ooh, ooh, which one which one yeah show me show me that's me so i recommend you that you should do the same thing so that way you can learn more about colognes so i hope it's helpful and please give me a like subscribe and share and well remember positive mind and smile always i'll see you in the next video guys